Namaste everyone. In this video, we're going to solve a problem from uh, the Osmania University question paper, uh, which appeared in December 2016. So the question has been given like this. Uh, we have a fixed uh, bar like this, and uh, there are two forces acting on it. One force is the force P, which is 200 newtons. The second force is the force F, which is 100 newtons. The angles of both the forces with the horizontal x-axis has been given to us and uh, we have been asked to find three things. First, the component of F in x-direction, then the component of P in x-direction and also the resultant of both F and P and also the direction of the resultant. So I'll just go ahead with the table method of solving this uh, wherein the first column uh, we'll be writing the force F then we'll be writing the x component or the vertical component and then the y component uh, actually the x component is the horizontal component sorry and the y component or the vertical one so here i have drawn the table for your convenience now let us take up the forces one by one and resolve them so here i have drawn only the force p in isolated form and it is inclined at 60 degrees to the, this axis now the x axis becomes adjacent to the angle and this one here becomes opposite and so the x component the px value we can write it as 200 multiplied with because it is adjacent we have to take cos of the angle angle being 60 degrees so this is the value of px then py value py value we are going to get 200 multiplied with sine of 60. Now you can see the px is in positive x-axis so this is going to be positive and the py is going to be in positive y-axis so it's this is also going to be positive. Now let us solve this second force of 100 newtons that is f. So here I have drawn the second force that is f in isolated form. So once again the x-axis will be adjacent and hence the x component we will have to take as cos of the angle theta. So it's going to be 100 into cos of the angle, angle being 30 degrees. And again because it is in positive x-axis we will have to take this as positive. Of course this can be called as the x component of f or fx. Then we can find the fy by using the same formula. Uh, so Fy will be of course 100 into sine of 30. Now once again because it is in positive y direction this can be also taken as positive. Now the first answer that we want is the x component of F. So let's calculate it. So that is 200 into 60 cos. So that gives us 100. So this is our first answer that is P of x. Of course the unit here is newtons so we will have to take newton here as well. Uh, next we have to find the x component of the force F. Let us calculate it here. So that's 100 into 30 cos and that gives us 86.60. 86.60 newtons. This is the value of Fx. And finally coming to the third uh, point we have been asked to find the resultant of F and P. So for that we will have to find the sum of X components and the sum of Y components. So let's go ahead and find it. So we just have to take this value and add it to this value. Result we are getting is 186.60. 186.60 and then we will have to find the Y component. Uh, so for that we'll have to take 200 into sine of 60, 60 sine and add it to 100 into 30 sine. So that gives us 223.21, 223.21. Right. So these are the sums of x and y components and the resultant can be find, found very simply. There's a formula for this and this is the formula summation of x square plus summation of y square under the square root. So substituting both these values into the calculator we can find it very simply. So it's going to be 186.60 square 
plus two sorry two twenty three point two one again square the result of this we have to take square root of so we are getting two ninety point nine three so two nine three point nine three Newtons. So this here, what we got is the magnitude, magnitude of the resultant. Now, because the force is a vector quantity, magnitude alone will not be enough. We'll also have to find its direction. So direction will be finding as an angle with the x-axis or the horizontal axis. So let us call that angle as alpha, and the formula for that will be tan inverse of sigma v by sigma h. Okay, so uh, let's let's just feed it in the calculator. So we'll have to take sigma y that is 223.21 divided by 186.60, and the result of this we'll have to take tan inverse of. So we're getting an angle of 50.10, so 50.10 degrees. So this angle is with the x-axis, and uh, when we have to draw the diagram for this, we just simply make the two axes, y-axis and x-axis, and draw our force. The resultant that is r, the value of r being 290.93, and here this angle being alpha, the value of alpha being 50.10. So that completes our problem. Thanks for watching this video. If you feel like sharing it to your friends, please by all means do it. Of course, you can like the video and share.